Right now, vintage motorcycles are super popular. They're all the rage and highly sought after. So much so that manufacturers are actually building these new bikes to look like the old bikes. But I'm going to tell you this, guys. There's five reasons why you should avoid buying a vintage motorcycle and why they're a bad buy. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Whether you're riding a vintage motorcycle or whatever, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there. And if you want to get my gear, which is awesome, like my favorite ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my Motovlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe, shorty gloves, all my gear, I have links in the description and comment section of this video. You know, some of the reasons why people get the vintage motorcycles, not only because they look awesome, because they're a bit raw and wild. They're not refined like these new bikes are. And that's one reason why I love this bike. Um, because this is just a raw dirt bike that I turned into a street legal street supermoto. And I'm going to tell you guys, this bike is raw and wild. I love that. But it's a new bike that has fuel injection. It's reliable. It has parts that I can get easily. It's easy to fix. Unlike vintage motorcycles. I'm going to tell you the number one reason why I avoid buying a vintage motorcycle is because they all have a carburetor on them. Now I know some of you like a carburetor and you're going to say that that's something you can work on and unlike fuel injection which you don't really know how to work on that well you have to take it to the shop. But I'm going to tell you guys that I've never had a problem with a fuel injected bike ever. But the reason why I like fuel injected over a carburetor is you get with fuel injection, you get a crisp throttle response, real-time throttle response. <laughs> Unlike carburetor, which can be a bit of a delay, it just doesn't feel a true connection to the engine like the fuel injection does. And also, when it's cold outside, which I ride in cold weather here in Ohio uh, oftentimes, is that the carburetor, it's going to be tough to start you know, on cold days sometimes. And also, it requires more maintenance with a carburetor. Fuel injection, there's no maintenance. Yeah, you know, I like low maintenance. I don't want to do no extra maintenance. I already have to do enough maintenance on this bike as it is. <laughs> and also, you're not going to get any rider aids. I know some of you guys like rider aids. I could care less about rider aids. But you're not going to get that with a carburetor. Number two is that the vintage bikes have old crappy brakes on them. Okay, they got old drum brakes on them. Okay, and you want to be able to stop efficiently out here on the streets. <laughs> Not saying the old bikes can't stop that good, but compared to these new bikes, they're terrible. Terrible. And I don't want you having a real effed up day if you can't stop fast enough, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> here, cause... Whoa! But I tell you guys, I didn't appreciate brakes that much because the brakes on the newer bikes are awesome, but when I got that Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory with the Brembo M50 brakes and also the Ducati XD Avail I own had the Brembo M50 brakes. Man, then I realized how awesome brakes can be. <laughs> thing that I really love about this bike is I love the Brembo brakes, man. Look at this. Uh, those brakes were awesome, man. baby yeah having a good old time out <laughs> and i tell you i like stopping quick i don't know about you guys i don't want no delay in my stopping power and them old crappy drum brakes are not going to get it done yeah baby uh, although you can upgrade the brakes i guess you can on some of the motor bikes i don't know if you can or not but if you can you would definitely want to do that but anyways number three issue that i have with vintage bikes is that they electric wiring can be bad on them old bikes anytime you got a bike that's been through a few owners somebody out there has probably tampered with the wiring in some way shape or form and i tell you trying to figure out some of them old bikes the wiring on them can be a real mess Especially on the European bikes where the wires look like spaghetti on them old bikes. Um, so 
that's something you got to keep in mind i've seen people the biggest issue i've seen people have with vintage bikes is the, the wiring uh, having electrical problems and that's not something that can be easily resolved oftentimes um number four is parts parts availability you know with them old bikes they're discontinued many years long time ago they've been discontinued so the parts are not easily available you have you'll be relegated to ebay for getting parts on them old bikes and they could be quite expensive because if there's a low supply of them and high demand you know then obviously the part that raises the prices on parts um especially if it's a really tough part to get you're gonna be paying a lot of money for it man um, and then you know how reliable are those parts they're not brand new parts most of the time they're old parts so you, it's like you know replacing an old part with an old part you don't know how long that was gonna last so you, all that money you're spending you're you don't know how long that part's gonna last for sometimes they're reconditioned and stuff like that but that's the biggest concern for me is really parts um, and the carburetor but number five reliability I'm telling you guys I've seen many guys out here on these vintage bikes this bike just wants to wheelie all the time man <laughs> and I'll tell you I've seen so many guys out here cranking the hell out of their bike trying to get it started uh, when I went to take my driver's test uh, my motorcycle riding uh, skills test back in the day there was a guy he came on a Kawasaki um, one of them old bikes ca old cafe racer bikes and I tell you guys that dude he couldn't even finish the the test because his bike kept cutting off he had to end up getting a tow home because of that old bike man baby we out here <laughs> having a good old time out here what i'm going to tell you guys is that if you want to get you an old vintage bike or you want that vintage bike look but you necessarily don't want to deal with the old bike problems they just they, there's a slew of uh you know these new bikes out here that look like the old bikes you got that uh, you know kawasaki z900 rs it looks like straight out of the 80s You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, so there you go. I mean, you got there's a lot of different bikes. The, the Honda CB1000R is kind of a new old school Neo Cafe racer look. Um, but there's a lot of different ones. Triumph makes a few bikes that look old. And uh, But yet you get that reliability. You're going to get part availability. You're going to get fuel injection. So honestly, that's the way I would go if I really wanted that old look honestly I don't understand why people like the old look myself I like newer looking bikes I don't want something that looks like from the 80s man <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't understand it boy I don't understand it baby we out here <laughs> yeah that's how I tell you guys get a supermoto you have more have more fun like I'm having out here busting some willies acting a fool out here <laughs> tell you boy in reps throw it around super lightweight baby yeah supermoto life baby repping that supermoto life all day baby <laughs> yeah Good old time out here yeah make sure you guys hit the thumbs up it really helps my channel when you do that uh, subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel share this video so people don't make a bad purchase and buy one of them old bikes and have old bike problems also check out my other channel bug out moto deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.